all kinds of life on Earth go under the microscope at this university laboratory, painstakingly catalogued at the molecular level. Today, it's insects from Argentina. Their tiny legs are all scientists need to extract a wealth of DNA data. In order to get the DNA out of these plates, you have to spin it at a very high velocity. The University of Guelph is leading the effort to catalog all 10 to 20 million of Earth's species, every last plant and creature on the planet. In the last 10 years, we've managed to catalog 500,000 species with DNA barcoding, so it's a much faster rate. And that's probably the only way where we can catch up to extinction rate. DNA barcoding is a technology developed by the university, a specialized series of colored lines. Every species gets its own unique barcode. And the more researchers map DNA this way, the more they find. You barcode a certain group of animals where you are sure this is, this is probably 10 species. And then you do these analyses and you go back and look at it and all of a sudden you have 30. Because species have the tendency to look very similar to each other. Scientists hope the barcode data could be used to detect invasive species or mislabeled food and other goods made from plants or animals. So this problem of substitution can impact consumer health, it can impact their wallets, and it can also impact uh, environmental sustainability. And the tools that we're developing help us uh, combat challenges on all those fronts. Scientists from 60 countries are now involved in the Barcode of Life project, with Canada poised to lead. But it'll cost more than $2 billion before that work is anywhere near complete. It's a mega project, researchers here say, whose time has come. I think what's regrettable is that we've literally mapped more stars in the sky than we've described species on Earth. With the rate of species extinction as high as it is today, scientists insist this research can't wait any longer. Vicodopia, CBC News, Guelph, Ontario.